scurvy bite. The scorpion with his deadly sting. A sinister, cold-blooded crocodile. The hypnotizing, venomous snake. Or the king of beasts, the lion. Which one is the most dangerous? Giraffes are eternally majestic. Buffalo, formidable, but with their golden fur, regal mane, and fearsome presence. Lions are known as the king of beasts. Lions have been celebrated throughout history for their majesty, courage, and strength. Kings and queens have taken the lion as a symbol of dominance and leadership. The largest of all carnivores on the African plains, lions are smaller and faster than the tigers of Asia. The thick flowing mane of an adult male grows darker as they age. These regal manes not only soften an enemy's blow, they also add to the size and fearsome appearance of the males, warning other lions not to challenge them. Even more impressive than its mane is its roar. The thundering sound of a lion defending its territory can be heard from eight kilometers away. The unseen presence of a lion sparks fear in the animals of the plain. The lion certainly lives a life fit for a king. They sleep around 20 hours a day. A lion's leisure time is usually only interrupted by the hunt for food. It is the females that do most of the hunting. Using deadly teamwork, they work together to bring down the mightiest of prey. Claws, teeth, and jaws show no mercy as they tear at their victim, strangling and suffocating until victory is theirs. These merciless hunters are also caring mothers with deep maternal instincts who will protect their cubs against the other predators of the plains, no matter what the cost. There are unforeseen dangers for all those that live on the savanna. The air suddenly becomes heavier. It's hard to breathe. Animals begin to get nervous. Senses are alerted, trying to work out where the danger is coming from. Their highly developed senses of smell have detected smoke in the air, and this means real danger. Fire, a deadly enemy to all, predator and prey alike. Instinct says to run, run as far and as fast as possible to avoid being trapped by the approaching flames. In all directions, the animals of the plains flee for their lives. When fire blazes through the savanna, it's terrifying for those animals who can escape, and fatal for those who can't. Separated by the flames, some are cut off from the rest of the pride. It is vital for the lion is to take refuge and to protect her cubs. All she can do is wait in fear for the flames to recede. Lions are opportunist hunters and will attempt to take any prey, regardless of its age, sex, condition, or size. It takes coordinated teamwork to bring down the tallest animal on earth. It's a difficult and dangerous pursuit. In this remarkable display of courage, strength, and sheer tenacity, the pride launch an attack on the tallest animal on earth, the giraffe. It's a daring and risky hunt. The giraffe is attacked from behind, while other members of the pride surround the mighty beast, preventing it from escaping. The giraffe is five times taller and more than five times heavier than the lions. Prey this size is no easy hunt. The giraffe's hoof is the size of a dinner plate and is capable of killing a lion. The 
hunting lioness breaks cover and leaps onto the haunches of a galloping zebra. Predator and prey can run at the same speed. It's the lion's powerful forelimbs, superb muscle strength, piercing claws, and mighty canine teeth that do the damage. Their muscled forebody enables them to deliver blows that could break the zebra's back. Lions don't eat every day, but when they do, they can get through 30 kilograms of meat at one sitting. For a pride of 10 lions, that's an entire zebra. Is the mighty lion the most dangerous animal on land? corner of earth, parched and sun-drenched. Once the sun is set and temperature drop, the nighttime wilderness becomes a very dangerous place. Danger lurks in the form of a sharpened spike loaded with toxic venom. It could be waiting anywhere, under a rock, in your shoe, or even in your bed. These are scorpions. Scorpions have been around for over 400 million years. They've seen the rise and the fall of the mighty dinosaur and will probably outlast mankind. They can survive massive doses of radiation and are protected by their hard outer skeleton. Armed with their toxic tail and crushing claws, they wait for the sun to go down before they start their search for prey. There are almost 2,000 species of scorpion, differing in size, habitat, and the toxicity of their venom. Babylonian astrologers included the scorpion in their zodiac during the Bronze Age. People born under the sign are thought of as aloof and vengeful. In Greek mythology, Scorpius was a giant scorpion sent by the earth goddess Gaia to slay the giant Orion. Some of the most deadly species of scorpion are found in North Africa. During the day, they seek out quiet, dark hiding places. Although scorpions have several pairs of tiny eyes which are spread all over their bodies, it is the minuscule hairs that cover their legs which help them hunt. The hairs pick up even the most subtle of vibrations, helping the scorpion to determine the location of its prey and the direction it is moving, preparing it to be ready to strike with its venom-injecting barb. Its tough vice-like pincer claws are used in defense and to crush their victims. The rocks and stones of the underground come alive as the silent scorpions come out in search of their prey of spiders and insects. Most human fatalities are children who are more vulnerable to their venom. The scorpion is not dangerous to humans because it is aggressive, but because of its desire to seek out dark places and shelters to hide in during the day. Nearly all attacks on humans are in self-defense. Most scorpions are solitary and will attempt to kill and eat other scorpions that invade their territory. Venomous scorpions tend to have weaker looking pincers and thin bodies. Their strength lies with the toxins in their tail. Most accidental stings to humans are on the hand or foot occurring when a scorpion is disturbed while hiding in crevices or burrows. Scorpions kill over 3,000 people every year. The venom of these small killers can be compared to that of the king cobra. Both are neurotoxins, fast acting and bring about death by heart and respiratory failure in their victims. Out of the 2,000 species of scorpion, roughly 25 of them are deadly to humans. It's no wonder that these prehistoric creatures are one of the most feared in all of the animal kingdom. In amongst the desert cactus and dried earth is the scorpion's next meal. Scurrying across the ground, its deadly weapons are ready to strike. Tough claws grasp at the victim. The syringe-like barb of the scorpion's tail pierces its prey and injects the fast-acting neurotoxin. Its molecules are rapidly absorbed, attacking the central nervous system and paralyzing the nerves that control breathing. Venom is delivered with surgical precision, 
paralyzing its prey in an instant. Once paralyzed, the scorpion emits its stomach juices onto the prey, sucking up the liquefied food with the victim still clamped between its mighty claws. Some species of scorpions can live up to 10 years in these harsh environments, equipped with the weapons to survive. Scurrying back into darkness, is the scorpion the most dangerous predator on land? legs that weave inescapable snares, spiderlings that hatch in their hundreds, and fangs that inject lethal venom into their prey. Spiders strike fear into many people. In Greek mythology, the great weaving god Arachne was turned into the first spider, while in Japanese mythology, shape-shifting demons often take a spider-like form. Funnel-web spiders are among the most deadly spiders in the world, and of all of them, the Sydney funnel web is arguably the most lethal. Aggressive and easily agitated, the funnel web is quick to bite. This nocturnal ground hunter of beetles, cockroaches, and small lizards, with an abdomen the size of a human thumb, is a walking messenger of death. The venom glands attached to the funnel web's fangs contain a complex cocktail of highly virulent chemicals. With a vertical strike downward, pointing fangs pierce through body casing and a measured dose of fast-acting venom is delivered. This cricket will get a higher dose than would, say, a smaller insect. When the Sydney funnel web decides to deliver its maximum dose, it can kill a human, and this species is likely to be responsible for all human deaths from funnel webs. These deadly spiders are not just found in crevices, rocks, and logs. They are often drawn out of their silk-lined burrows by rain and flooding. The more venomous males have been known to wander into city gardens and houses in search of females. Like scorpions, they too have been found in shoes and clothes discarded on the floor. While the funnel web can bring danger and potential death to humans, there is another incredible spider that brings death to its own kind. The one centimeter Porsche spider has evolved to selectively hunt other spiders, specializing not only on other jumping spiders, but also on the web builders the beautifully camouflaged Porsche spider exploits the poor eyesight of others as it merges with any leaf fragments caught in their webs. With the second most acute eyesight in the animal world, this eagle-eyed, intelligent spider can learn, problem-solve, and remember, learning the best combat tactic for their selected victim using camouflage to detour along rocks to perform an ambush attack is just one. Skilled at running on the silken webs of at least 11 different families of spiders, Porsches can mimic the vibration patterns not only of a trapped insect, but also of the courtship signals of the spiders it hunts. If this lures the spider out, they keep doing it until the unsuspecting prey 
is within striking distance. With its fangs outstretched, the tiny Porsche spider injects its fast-acting venom. This combination of intelligence, memory, and stealth make the Porsche spider a truly deadly adversary. Others rely more on pure brawn. Palm-sized tarantulas with a leg span bigger than a book are hard to miss. While their bite may not be fatal to humans, to the insects, frogs, and mice it preys on, the tarantula is a bristled and deadly foe. and terrified humans for thousands of years. In many parts of the world, they are worshipped as protectors and creators. But some cultures fear snakes as devils and symbols of vengeance and death. Whether as an evil power or symbol of fertility, the snake is a powerful image. It represents both immortality and death, male and female, deity and demon, killer and healer, the highest of wisdom, as well as the chaos from the underworld. Mysterious movement, lethal venom, suffocating grip, or lightning strike. The snake has a commanding reputation throughout the world. Every year, more than 5 million people suffer snake bites. Over 100,000 of them die from their wounds. With heat sensing organs, an acute sense of smell, and the ultimate flexible body, snakes track down their victims. The bite is the lethal weapon of venomous snakes. Their fangs deliver toxins straight into their victims' bodies, causing paralysis, and in some cases, death. Venomous snakes are strictly carnivorous, killing and eating small animals including lizards, mammals, birds, fish, insects, even other snakes. Asia is home of the legendary King Cobra, a dynamic hunter that preys on other snakes and delivers huge amounts of powerful venom. Measuring more than five meters, the King Cobra is the longest venomous snake in the world. King Cobra are found throughout India. Their heads are the size of a man's hand and they can detect movement from 100 meters away. Each dose of venom has enough neurotoxin to kill 20 grown men. Highly intelligent, snakes are treated as objects of awe and wonder by humans. Snake charmers have used them for many centuries. When threatened, the cobra will flare out its iconic hoods and emit a bone-chilling hiss that sounds almost like a growling dog. Snakes can't bite or tear their food into pieces. They swallow their prey whole. They use their highly developed sense of smell to track their prey. Hundreds of vertebrae in the snake's spine give them their incredible flexibility. With their constantly moving forked tongues, they collect airborne particles, which they pass into their mouths for chemical analysis, providing them vital information about their surroundings. Some snakes kill by constriction. Some snakes use their venom to kill or paralyze their prey before eating it, while others swallow their prey whole and still alive. Without walking, you never know what could be lurking by your feet. It only takes a second for a snake to strike. poisonous, this young girl will have very serious problems. Is the snake, with its venom-filled lightning strike, the land's most dangerous predator?
lurking in the world's rivers, marshes, and swamps, lies one of the most prehistoric and dangerous predators on the planet. Stories, songs, and legends have been built up around them. People tremble in fear of their name. These are crocodiles. These ancient reptiles are a symbol of merciless predation and insatiable appetite. They can stay hidden in the water for hours and strike without warning. The saltwater crocodile and the Nile crocodile are two of the largest species of crocodile in the world, hunting anything they choose and killing hundreds of people each year. The ancient Egyptians worshipped the crocodile as the god Sobek and adorned crocodiles with jewels in his honor. They believed that Sobek controlled the mighty Nile, and so he was worshipped to appease the crocodiles of the river, as well as for the fertility of the Egyptian people and their crops. Crocodiles have been on Earth since the beginning of time, existing with the dinosaurs. Crocodiles survived the breakup of the Earth's continents. They even survived the Ice Ages. While most other animals have gone through remarkable evolutionary changes in order to survive, Crocodiles have remained virtually the same for millions of years. Slowing their heartbeat down to two or three beats per minute, and with a transparent eyelid, a crocodile can wait underwater until it sees its prey. <laughs> Madagascar's Anivarana Lake. For its local people, Lake Anivarana is sacred. Legend says that a wizard dressed as a passerby walked through the town and asked its people for a drink of water, but they refused him. The wizard flooded the town to punish them for not satisfying his thirst. Since that time, the locals believe that the crocodiles are sacred, the reincarnated spirits of their ancestors. To win favor with the crocodiles, the people perform ceremonies to appease them, offering them meat from a freshly slaughtered zebra. The crocodile feeds on the offering of the villagers. The ceremony comes to an end when a young man from the village hangs the head of a zebu on top of a column, a column which is already adorned with the skulls from previous rituals. is going to do. With only its eyes and nostrils above the water, these are perfect ambush predators. The biggest reptile on Earth, the mighty saltwater crocodile, explodes from the water with outstretched jaws. Crocodiles are perfectly adapted for hunting in water. Powerful swimming muscles and clawed webbed feet make them excellent swimmers. At home in the ocean, saltwater crocodiles can often be seen out at sea. Taking a drink at the water's edge or trying to cross the river can be a very risky business when crocs are about. Without any warning, the half-ton crocodile launches itself out of the water, slamming its massive jaws shut around an unsuspecting animal. Saltwater crocodiles have a bite force of 3,700 pounds per square inch. That's almost four times as much as a lion. Its mouth has up to 60 teeth, all designed to rip flesh off prey. Clasping the dying animal in its powerful jaws, the croc takes it underwater to drown it in a twisting death roll. Is the crocodile with its strength and insatiable appetite, the most dangerous predator? Which is the most dangerous of all predators on land? The majestic lion, the venomous snake, the fanged spider, the poisonous scorpion, the ancient crocodile, or is it mankind?